Whoa, look! Promo posters everywhere from the moment you arrive in the harbor. Hmm. Paimon gets more and more curious about the two inventors of this game every time we see the posters. You're not the only one. There's so little information to go off of that there's all sorts of wild speculations about them. Some people say that they invented the game after the God of Wisdom gave them an epiphany, while others say that they're not actually the inventors at all. By the way, have you two ever read a book called King of Invocations? Well, it's a story about a young boy who gets possessed by the spirit of the Crocodile King and becomes a TCG player. It's quite fascinating. I made sure to read it before coming on this trip. Some people have even speculated that the author of the King of Invocations is the boy who was possessed, while the true inventors of the game are the Crocodile King and Ibis King from the Legends. Each of these theories gets more ridiculous than the last. Exactly! Which is why the original author came forward to deny these rumors. But that only fueled the debate further, and the book's sales skyrocketed. It can't be denied that the King of Invocations novels are a major part of why Genius Invocation TCG has become so popular. Just look at the venue. They're almost treating this like a national festival. I bet the book is going to sell more copies after this. <laughs> you can be sure that the Fox Lady is behind all this. Fox Lady? Yeah, Yai Miko. She's chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. Paimon can just imagine her eating some fried tofu as she instructs her editors to use this event to boost light novel sales. Oh, yes, I've been in that situation many times myself. Although in our case, the boss would be drinking coffee and talking about newspaper sales. Sounds like bosses are the same everywhere. The scenery in every nation is so different. This trip is really paying dividends. Good thing that you're able to be so optimistic about it. It sounded like you were pretty much forced to come on this trip whether you wanted to or not. Uh, huh? Wait, is that who Paimon thinks it is? Huh? Traveler, Paimon, we meet again. Oh, who is this? Ah, allow Paimon to introduce you. Huh. Seems like that's all Paimon's been doing these past few days. Anyway, this is Charlotte. She's a journalist from Fontaine. And this is A. She's, uh... She's Inazuma's Archon. What? Y you mean Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder? <laughs> Hello. Please forgive me for not recognizing you. I... <laughs> As a guest from afar, there's no need to be so formal. Right. Uh, I mean, okay. Oh, each of your acquaintances is more impressive than the last. Miko invited me here to experience the fun and festivities, along with everybody else. Oh, Paimon gets it. The tournament venue is full of excitement and tasty food. And Miko didn't want you to miss out. I guess I'll let you catch up for now. We can meet up later, just like last time. Sure thing. See you, Charlotte. Perhaps she felt a little intimidated by me. Ah, uh, she's probably fine. Don't worry, she didn't leave because of you. We've split up like this in previous places we visited, too. So, how do you like Genius Invocation TCG? Paimon bets you're enjoying watching the tournament matches. Well, in fact, I myself am competing in the tournament. Wait, really? Why is that surprising? Playing cards is an ancient form of entertainment, and I was curious to see what card games are like in this day and age. I advanced all the way to the semifinals. The semifinals? That's amazing! So when's your next match? Unfortunately, the semifinals is where my journey ended. The reason being... The reason being that she lost to me. And when I say lost, that doesn't begin to do it justice. It was quite a humiliating defeat. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I only lost because I was duped by her little tricks. What's wrong with my little tricks? Trickery within the scope of the rules is better known as ingenuity. 
It's not my fault that some people spend all their time cooped up in Tenshukaku and never have the chance to hone their skills. What a unique friendship. Huh. <sighs> You're right, though. I should make an effort to get out more. Many things have changed now that Inazuma is at peace. However, it seems that some people continue to fear the Divine Light, just as before. In some of my tournament matches, I could see my opponent's hands shaking, hesitant to play their cards. Now that I think about it, perhaps they were scared of what would happen if they defeated me. Oh, dear, dear. Other players lose their games and throw a tantrum. You win yours, and yet you still find a reason to mope about it. I invited you out for some simple fun and games. Oh, I should have known you'd be like this. Anyway, you should watch and learn, because I plan on using some more of my little tricks to defeat that divine priestess from Watatsumi Island. Oh, so Kokomi's your opponent in the finals? Mm-hmm. On one side will be your erstwhile comrade-in-arms, the leader of Watatsumi Island, and on the other will be head shrine maiden Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. So, little one, who will you support? Miko, come on. No need to put them on the spot like that. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see how they'd react. The venue is right over there. Why not go and take a walk around? Oh. And if you meet my fellow finalist, do pass on my regards. Miko, the people of Inazuma are afraid of me. And for good reason, no? A bolt of lightning from you would make even my fur stand on end. You know I would never do such a thing. Nor would I eat anyone. Yet a writer of mine seems convinced that I'd turn into an evil Kitsune and eat him alive if he doesn't submit his drafts on time. Honestly, where do people get these ideas? Hmm, although to be fair, after I learned that he was afraid of me, I did start acting like I might actually eat him. Needless to say, his punctuality is now improving with each draft. Hmm. Hey, compadre! And... Flying Lavender Melon? Oh, bull chucker! Don't call time on that in public! <laughs> what would this tournament be without Arataki, the ultimate TCG champion, Ito? Matter of fact, the whole Arataki gang showed up in force. Our goal? To bring home the grand prize? <sighs> As fate would have it, Boss was the only one who didn't make it out of the qualifiers. What? Hey! That's not the point! It was just some bad luck, that's all. I got matched against a strong opponent in the first round. Besides, it was a close match. It could have swung either way! I wouldn't exactly call losing in three rounds a close match. Hey, Shinobu, cut me some slack in front of my friends, okay? Anyway, it's not like you did much better. Weren't you beaten by that fish lady? Uh, Sandy Mama Mia, whatever her name was? <sighs> Sangonomiya Kokomi? Watatsumi Island's military strategist? Yes, she beat me fair and square. I don't have a problem with that. <sighs> well, anyway, I've noticed something in this competition. If you want to win big here, you need style. That's right, I'm talking card backs. I lost my match because my backs were whack. But the style of card backs and a player's skill don't have anything to do with each other. Oh, no, 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 no. That's where you're wrong, Mini Milan. It's just like how the strongest Oni Kabuto have the brightest colors on their back. If your cards look cool, then you'll definitely draw a better hand. Ah, uh, speedle fighting and playing TCGs are completely different. In cards, you actually have to rely on your own skill. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's no use arguing with you. Why don't we let our friend here weigh in, hmm? See? He agrees. All right, that's it. I know how to settle this. We're gonna play a match. Right now, you and me. How about this? Shinobu, lend me your deck. You've got some pretty slick card backs. Hmm, but the Traveler probably has cool card backs too. Maybe even better than yours. Okay, in that case, you can use my deck. Boss, how do I put this? Nobody could win with that deck of yours. No matter who uses it. Hey, quit busting my chops! Sheesh! What do you say, Traveler? You got time for a match now? Great! See? 
This is what I call a true compadre. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll be the judge then. Just remember to take it easy, you two. This isn't a high-stakes match. It really doesn't matter who wins or loses. Oh, shh, shh, shh. No. Do you guys hear that? It's the cry of my cards cheering me on in the wind. My cards, you mean. <laughs> We're gonna make this the most exhilarating TCG duel ever, compadre. I don't think either side will have a good time dealing with boss's deck. Take this, compadre! Oh, oh, oh. Now you see what the champ is capable of! <clears throat> you have my deck to thank for that. I am the man! Try this on for size! See you at the rematch! <laughs> See? My theory was correct. Don't let it get to you. You were using Boss's deck after all. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Actually, we were looking for Kokomi. Have you seen her around? Or as Arataki numero uno idioso so eloquently called her, the Fish Lady. You're one to talk, Lavender Melon. Her match in the finals will be starting shortly, so she can't be far. Why don't you ask Kujo Sara over there? The Tenryo Commission is in charge of managing access to the venue and maintaining order. Hey, just remember that if you ever want to play another match, you can find me anytime. What's up, compadre? You here to play another game? You've got it! This Sony's ready to play all day. What's up, compadre? You here to play another game? No worries. You go do what you gotta do. I'll see you later. Hi, Sara. We're looking for Kokomi. Have you seen her anywhere? I saw her exit the venue after the semifinals, but she hasn't returned since. If you're looking for her excellency, I believe she's currently near the western shore of Rito. Goro! Good to see you! Hello, you two. Is there something the matter? No, we just wanted to say hello to Kokomi. Hmm. Now that I think about it, her opponent in the finals will be a tough one to beat. Who are you rooting for, Sara? Up till now, the Almighty Shogun had my full support. But now that she's been eliminated from the tournament, in truth, I don't really care. Paimon thought for sure you'd be rooting for Miko. I certainly would, in the past. But now that the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi are on amiable terms, we're all friends. Those are exactly Her Excellency's thoughts as well. The point of a game of cards between friends is to exchange skills and enjoy the game together. It's not about who wins or loses. She hopes that this spirit of friendly competition will define Inazuma going forward. Hmm. A commendable attitude. Her opponent is skilled in the art of deception. Even if she appears to have worry written all over her face, don't fall for it. She's likely trying to lead you into a trap. It's nice to see two generals who were once enemies on the battlefield now looking out for each other. Do not be mistaken. I speak only in the interest of fairness. The moment I saw the name Sangonomiya on the list of competitors, I anticipated that she would make it into the finals to face the Almighty Shogun. I've watched every one of her matches. She constantly adapts her strategy and excels at employing rare and unusual tactics. But after the Almighty Shogun's loss, I'm afraid that Lady Guji may also have caught wind of Kokomi's strategies. Oh, so you want to make sure Kokomi's got intel on the other side too! Wow, trust Sara to make sure everything is fair and above board. Hmm, thanks for your insights, General Kujo. I will be sure to pass them along to Her Excellency. Don't mention it. The match will be starting shortly. Please, let her know to get back to the venue soon. Alright, then I'll get going. Paimon? Oh, and the Traveler's here too. Surprised to see us? We came to wish you good luck in the competition. So, what are you doing out here, Kokomi? Taking in the view? Yes. The soothing sound of the ocean's waves do make me feel peaceful. But I actually came here hoping to see Watatsumi Island. Huh? Can you really see Watatsumi Island from here? Let Paimon take a look. Well, can you see it? 
Let's see. Uh, oh, that must be Kanazuka. And a little further than that, there's Yashiori Island. Nope, can't see Watatsumi. Even on a perfectly clear day like this, you can't see Watatsumi Island from Narukami Island. Imagine trying to see it when the islands were surrounded by storm. Though the islands are on peaceful terms now, the dark clouds of war still linger in some people's hearts. Even when friends argue, they still need time to reconcile. Think of how much time is needed when the conflicting sides could never even see each other. You okay, Kokomi? Oh, sorry. My mind was drifting to some more serious topics. Yes, I thought you might understand. Huh? What are you talking about? Who wins and who loses isn't what's most important. What's important is that Her Excellency came here to compete with all of Inazuma watching. Yes, more people will be traveling between Watatsumi and Narukami Island from this day forward. The point I hope to make is, even though we believe in different gods, we can all come together as friends by playing cards at the table. We should be willing to cooperate and assist one another in the future. You could say that I'm playing cards to help dissolve enmity. Yes, that's a good way to put it. Besides, my passion has always been in tactics and strategy. How could I pass up the chance to play in a tournament for a strategic game like this? Oh, so you have your personal reasons to play too! <laughs> yes, partly. You should be careful of that fox lady. Even Sara warned us that she'll be a cunning opponent. <sighs> yes. It seems that you're not the only one who sees this tournament as a chance to resolve our differences, Your Excellency. Oh? That's good to hear. Don't worry, Paimon. I've already thought of a variety of stratagems for the match. Wow! Paimon's really looking forward to the final now! And Paimon swears that she's actually gonna see it this time! No matter what! Paimon won't let herself get distracted! Not even by all the tasty snacks in Inazuma! Thank you. All right, let's go. Inazuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. Ooh, that's a nice title. Lightning from Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? <laughs> I don't think the Electro Archon would get upset over a minor thing like this. Hey, what are you two chatting about? Oh, wait a second. The real question is, how many times are we gonna run into Kirara? Talk about a coincidence, right? What are the chances? I interviewed a few people around Rito, but no more details on the card snatcher, unfortunately. After that, I ran into Kirara here. We got to chatting, and then I found out that she knew you too. Sorry, you said the card snatcher? Oh, let Paimon explain. Hmm. I think I already have some insights regarding the truth of this matter. Really? That fast? But it's a little complicated, and the finals are about to start. Let me put it this way, though. The key to this case is actually... Kirara. Huh? Oh, wait, what? Me? Having chatted with Kirara, I was starting to think the same thing. Sorry, I don't have time to explain now. We'll have to continue after the tournament's finished. Uh, what should we do? Paimon's still trying to wrap her head around that. If Kokomi was only working off of what Paimon told her, how come Paimon can't find the answer? Oh, is Paimon really as dumb as a lavender melon? Uh, oh, okay. Welcome to the final round of the King of Invocations Grand Prix Inazuman Regional Final! Our contestants are... Guji Yai Miko of the Grand Narukami Shrine versus Sangonomiya Kokomi, Divine Priestess of the Sangonomiya Shrine. Without further ado, let the final match begin! Yay, it's starting! Now, to find out who will play first. You took your time. 
I was starting to wonder if you got lost walking on the seabed, Miss Soul of the Deep. You must be tired after the walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first? There's no need. I've heard that fried tofu with all the frills gets cold quickly. If we don't serve it right away, then I'm afraid it'll become a cold, greasy mess. Round one! Begin! And the winner is... Sangonomiya Kokomi! The Divine Priestess from Watatsumi Island! She won! Kokomi did it! Whew. Just seeing that Kitsune Yokai made the fur of my tail stand on end. Sorry to keep you waiting. Thank you. Kokomi! That was a real nail-biter, but you did it! That Miko is a crafty one. Pretending she had no strategy and letting one of her own character cards get defeated? Then she played two cards from her hand that required to have lost a character card. She came pretty close to turning the match around. Goodness, what's all the commotion over here? Discussing something interesting behind my back? Uh, <laughs> not at all. Uh, Paimon was just saying what a real pity it was that you lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's no pity at all. It was just a little fun competition. We'll see who wins next time. What do you say, Miss Soul of the Deep? How about a rematch? If Miss Fried Tofu with all the frills hasn't gotten too cold, I would be happy to play. However, the Traveler here is waiting for me to help them solve a puzzle they've been facing. Oh, really? Then I won't disturb you. I'll go play with Goro instead. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen those fuzzy ears of his. <clears throat> now, back to our conversation. Kirara... You've been delivering items between different nations for the past several days, correct? That's right. I've had quite a few deliveries recently. But what does that have to do with the Card Snatcher? The strange thing is that Kirara's delivery route has coincided with the Card Snatcher's movements at every turn. Yes. And therein lies the clue. You mean... Kirara is the Card Snatcher? Huh? Hey, that's not true. I'm just out here doing my job. You can't just throw false accusations at a person. Uh, I mean, a yokai like this. Calm down, you two. Kirara's not the thief. Let me ask you, Kirara. Have any of your packages in the past few days been from the same sender? Or were any sent to the same destination? Let me think. Senders have all been different. But there's one destination that keeps coming up in every region I've been to. Really? And what destination is that? Um... I'm not at liberty to give you the exact address, but I can tell you that it's in Sumeru. Were the contents light? No larger than the size of an envelope? Huh? Wait, you're not one of those yokai who has prophetic dreams, are you? I used to hear stories about that when I was curled up on my grandma's lap. <laughs> no, I'm only the divine priestess of Watatsumi Island. I just like to read light novels and books about military strategy. Divination's not my field. Well, after all I've said so far, have you arrived at the same answer as me? Every nation Kirara visited had a parcel sent to Sumeru. The contents were light and were no larger than an envelope. The contents were probably genius invocation cards. Hmm... There doesn't seem to be any more leads. We've run into Kirara multiple times throughout our trip. We came to Inazuma because we tracked the thief here. The thief is likely using Komania Express to send packages.
Kirara's deliveries contain the treasure chest card backs. Yes! You nailed it! Huh? So the card backs we've been looking for have been right under our noses all along? But there's still one thing that doesn't quite add up. Kirara picked up her package in Mondstadt before we encountered the card snatcher. The timing doesn't make sense. I've thought about that too. The way I see it, there's more than just one thief involved. Yes, the person you've been tracking most likely is one member of the group. It seems the other members had already obtained the cardbacks and sent them together. Hmm, now that I think about it, collecting all those cardbacks across so many nations would be near impossible for just one person. But why is it the one we're following ever using Komani Express? Because he's too slow. He probably missed the arranged shipment date. Well, that's how I figure it at least. From your explanation, he's only committed theft on one occasion, and there were even witnesses. After that, he's been trading or playing to collect the card backs. I suspect that this person isn't a very good thief. He probably used the mora he was given to arrange shipments with Comania Express as funds to use for trading. Then there's another question now. Why don't the other members just keep the cards and take them back to Samaru themselves? Unless there's a reason for them to stay. Yes, this is a question I'm still grappling with now. What is the thief's objective? What kind of secret is hidden behind these card backs? Unfortunately, there's no way to know without seeing one for ourselves. Uh, uh, hey, don't look at me like that. I can't just open a customer's parcel. If the company ever found out, I'd be fired on the spot! And I don't want to go back to being a yokai in the mountains of Inazuma! No, we don't want to cause you any trouble, of course. At this point... Mm, maybe it would be best for you all to accompany Kirara to Sumeru. Good idea! Going to the delivery location is the only lead worth following now! And if the recipient really is a bad guy, then Kirara could be in danger! We should come along to make sure you're safe! Hey, I know my way around a fight, too. I haven't had a single package stolen from me since I've started this job. Whenever someone picks on me thinking I'd be an easy target to take packages from, I send them running. Uh, let me think about it. All right, I'll let you come with me to the delivery point in Sumeru. But on one condition. You have to promise that you'll hide somewhere where the customer can't see you. Who's ever heard of a group of people delivering packages? No problem. You got it. Also, even if the customer is a bad guy and has stolen things, we should leave that for the local authorities to handle. Next stop, Sumeru! Oh, we're really traveling all over the place this time. Good luck. You'll have to tell me how everything turns out the next time we meet. match between fox lady and fish lady really got my blood racing. The sweat's practically boiling off my forehead. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sure all of Rito knows how excited you are, but the gang's all waiting for us. 
We should be heading back now. Eh, they can wait a little longer. At least let my compadre and I play one last match. You can't say no to that. Pretty please? That's my compadre. I knew you'd be down to duel. Only you understand a hardcore TCG player like me. Ugh, seriously. What will I do with you two? General Kujo, could I have a word with you? Yes. Congratulations on your victory, Sangonomiya Kokomi. I wanted to express my gratitude for the helpful advice you provided before the match. It was nothing. Anyone with a good head on their shoulders knows that skill and strategy ultimately determine the winner. It, it was unfortunate that you didn't register for the tournament as well. I'm afraid I'd be no match for you. Don't say that. You're not so different from me. Seeking chances to hone your skills in the game, considering countermeasures, and competing with others as if they're friends? Perhaps you have a point. In that case, let's play a match of Genius Invocation before you depart for Narukami Island. It would be my pleasure. We're in a real competition, so please don't feel obliged to go easy on me. Were you distracted during our match? <laughs> I could tell. Pardon my indiscretion. Phew. I really was beaten by the best. <laughs>